Ultimate Apartment Essentials, BFFR, Hotel S, Target, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Ikea, 680 Thread Count. I have no idea what that means. My friend sitting next to me, everything that I bought for my new apartment. Can you please move out of my frame? I love you too, baby boy. I love you too, I love you too. It's kind of loud. Okay. I just figured out how to turn my air off in my apartment. That was the first time I've done that. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see, we're in a new background. I just moved into my first apartment about a week and two days ago, to be exact. I moved in on January 19th. That was a Thursday. And today is January 28th. It is currently Saturday. I finally have a day off, so I wanted to show you guys everything that I bought for my new apartment. I've been collecting stuff for this apartment that was at first imaginary, but now a reality since 2020. So I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. This is like the ultimate apartment essentials. There's probably nothing in here that you don't need, if not one, for your apartment. I probably can move you up a little bit. I have a lot of stuff from Target, Home Goods. I have some stuff from TJ Maxx, I have some stuff from Ikea. I'm gonna try to remember where I got this stuff as I go along. I think I got this from either Home Goods or TJ Maxx. Actually, it was Home Goods, it was $4. These are little wiener dogs to put on wine stems. My mom actually bought this for me. This is an ice bag. I've never used one of these in my life, but I will keep it just in case. This is from TJ Maxx, it was $5.99, and this is something that my mom told me to get that I didn't think I needed until I started using it at her house. And basically, it's a nutcracker, so whenever I need to open any type of container, bottle of soda, a can of some sort that I cannot physically open with my hands, this nutcracker has come in handy more times than one. I also got these from TJ Maxx, they were $4. I had another pack, but I ended up using them earlier this week. These are dish cloths. Perfect for drying out dishes, perfect for just anything around the kitchen. It's a necessity. I ended up getting these probably like two years ago. That's how crazy I've been with this apartment hunt. But I'm pretty sure they're still at Target right now. This is a strainer and a colander. The next thing I bought a really long time ago was a blender. This is a Ninja single serving blender. I have another cup as well over there. It pops out, you can pop it in and hold it and it blends for you. The next thing, I don't have the physical Brita. It's in my fridge because I've been using it for my dog's water. But I have been filtering my dog's water so that he gets the cleanest water possible in my apartment. And I bought two packs of the extra filters. Next things that I got were from Ikea. These are basically the pans that you can put like lasagna, big ziti into the oven with. And they're oven safe, but they're glass. So I got the square one. I have this smaller rectangle and this bigger rectangle. Speaking of Ikea, the next things are these three containers they are for i think i'm going to use them for sugar flour things like that in my kitchen okay this i'm pretty sure you can't get anymore so i'm so sorry but i'm so excited about it i needed to share it basically i think a year ago i remember that target was having this collection i think it's project 62 and they were having these footed bowls in target and i wanted one so bad and they kept getting out of stock and i think i went there one day and i saw it and i was like i don't care what apartment i have i need this bowl in my life so i ended up getting this footed bowl it was 30 dollars. i think this is like the dupe of the cv2 version i'm thinking of putting like moss in here i don't know I'm definitely not gonna put fruit in here because let's be BFFR. And then from the same collection, I'm pretty sure, these were getting sold in the same area of Target. I got these two vases. I'm also gonna put this in my kitchen. My counter space in my kitchen is pretty big. I ended up getting this from the same collection, I think also in 2021. I'm sorry if it's discontinued. I just really wanted to show you guys. Um, this one was 25 and this one was 20. Next thing, I have one of these in my bathroom already. So I bought two of these. This is from Home Goods, I remember for sure. It was $12.99. They are paper towel holders. Speaking of kitchen stuff, I also got these from I think either TJ Maxx or Home Goods. I don't remember because I took the tag off. I had to use them earlier this week. These are microfiber towels for anything really, the bathroom, the kitchen. I use them a lot in the kitchen, so I just got like a variety pack of a ton of them. I also got these, which my dad has just now discovered. I bought some, I put him onto these as well. These are drying mats. There's one behind me, the black one, but I also got a gray one and a smaller gray one. I use drying mats a lot for when I hand wash dishes. And then I recently bought this, I think a couple of days ago. This is something that I did have in my first apartment. My first apartment was shared with my roommate, Glenn, in college. This is so weird, but I've always wanted 
one of these like aesthetically pleasing silverware organizers and this matches the inside of the drawers that I have so I got a bamboo one this is from Amazon the next things these are actually empty because they're in my kitchen cabinet but I had these in college as well and I love them so much that I rebought them again for my own apartment these are the goddess cups this is just like the quintessential cup of milk in like every commercial ever they're always using a cup that looks like this and that's why i really wanted them and then i also got these cups right here this box is also empty because they're in my cabinet right now these are alpha tumbler sets from project 62 also from target i don't even remember buying this i have a cup and mug obsession so at some point i just blacked out and then i also got champagne cups and wine cups these are like oversized huge wine cups but I love the way that they look, so I got champagne and wine cups because your girl be drinking, drinking, okay? okay? Two cutting boards. I got this one from Target. I also got this one for functionality. This one's from Ikea. It's just a clear cutting board for if I actually do need to cut something, I will use this cutting board, but I love the way that this one looks. So I'm gonna keep this one on the kitchen counter. Okay, I got some glass straws. I think these are from Amazon. It's nice to have a bunch of reusable straws for me and anybody that I have over here. I got some measuring cups, which I definitely was not thinking about when I was going shopping for my apartment, but it's something you definitely need. Next up, these are from Costco. This is a 680 thread count. I have no idea what that means. I don't know if that's good or bad, the amount. Let me know if you know. All I know is this is a pretty decent quality sheet set it has four pillowcases in it and i recently bought a queen size bed i got a mattress and a mattress topper from costco so while we were there me and my mom decided to get these sheets as well i have another set of cups believe it or not these are stemless wine glasses just if you're into that sort of thing i love cups it's a problem so i got those i got these a long time ago this is a queen size bed set this is a flannel set for like the winter time this is another thing from ikea like i said if you are a first time mover like me ikea is the way to go when it comes to kitchenware trust me it's inexpensive and it lasts a long time i still have the dishes from my college apartment two years ago they're everything i love them i think this is like the more expensive set i think this is about 50 dollars but the ones from my college apartment i think they were 20 or 25 dollars and i still have them so this is definitely a go for me i love ikea plate sets next things are also from costco i'm just gonna show you guys all together these are by the brand charisma and i really love this brand of bath towels and bath washcloths they're oversized and i love them a four piece set of hand towels and washcloths i got dark gray white and light gray and then i basically just got the exact same set in towels so i got a light gray a white and a dark gray i think i have two of each i just didn't feel like bringing them all out in my living room but i have two of each of these and that's good enough for me and any guests that I have that need to take a shower. I just wanted everything to match. Very hotel-esque, so I love that brand Charisma. This is just some random stuff. I got an avocado slicer because I do not want to slice my hand open trying to open an avocado. I got these, honestly, because they were cute. These are like the Cuisinart just pastel knives. Next is from Home Goods. This is $4. These are just, I think, six. They're shot glasses, just a little pack. I got a corkscrew for wine bottles. I got a set of shears from Target. If you need kitchen shears, definitely go to Target. The Room Essentials brand is always like two or three dollars and they're really, really aesthetically pleasing. This is like a beige color and I also got a beige set of tongs. I think I got this from Target as well. This is a brownie bake pan and then I also got this cookie sheet. You can obviously use this for anything. This actually comes in a set of three but the third one is on my oven right now. I used it the other day to heat up pizza so I don't always use these strictly for cookies but I always use them for like oven safe things. And then I think before I ended up buying those cookie sheets or maybe afterwards I got this from Target anytime around August. That's when I would go shopping for apartment essentials there because they have a lot of stuff for college kids that you can use as well for your apartment. So I think I got this around that time. This is a non-stick bakeware set instead of buying everything individually. And it just has a ton of things on there. It has muffin pan, circle pan, things like that. Along with the measuring glasses, I also got measuring cups. So I just got two different colors because I liked the way that they looked. This is by the brand Made by Design and it's just a oven mitt and what is this called? Pot holder. And then I got this from Target as well. They're called Bar Mop Dish Towels. Next from Ikea, I got a envelope 
holder. I use this a lot for just random spare papers that I have or mail that I pick up for my mailbox and I don't want to deal with at the very moment. I'm going to keep this in my kitchen so I can just throw it in there. You're going to have a lot of documents and papers that you didn't anticipate having. So it's nice to have somewhere to put them and somewhere to sort them out and deal with them. So I love having this little catch-all instead of just throwing your papers everywhere. Over here, I have just random kitchen stuff. I have a ladle just in case I need one. I have a random spoon. I use these a lot. So I think I have like two or three of these. I don't know what the rest of them are, but I know they're in the house somewhere. I have this brush, which I have never used myself, but I've seen my mother use, so I decided to pick it up. Um, it's like one of those brushes that you brush I don't know, you brush like oil on, you brush butter onto things when you're cooking. Basting brush. So, I might need this at some point. If I didn't, it's really inexpensive at Target, so I just decided to get it anyway. This is a pasta server, which I have used before. These are bamboo cooking spoons. Again, this is something that I've seen my mom have, wooden spoons, so I just decided to pick them up just off of the basis of she uses them, so I probably will at some point as well. This is something that I bought a really long time ago. I don't know if Target still has the exact same um, brand, but this is the Threshold brand, and these are the Hovita flatware set. I got two 20 packs, so this is just one to show you guys. These are like the adult pleasures in life, like having a fresh set of cutlery. Like, I'm so excited to use this flatware. I got this. This is random. It's just a random crushed ice tray. My refrigerator actually does create its own ice, but I got crushed ice as well. I got a hand mixer. This is from Home Goods. It was only 13 bucks. Next thing I have, I'm excited to finally be able to use. These are my pots and pans. I bought these a couple of months ago and I'm so excited to use them. These are the Calphalon non-stick pans and these are the Aqua Shield ones. I think these were the only ones available that had all the pans that I wanted. I'm not really sure what the Aqua Shield technology is doing that the other pans are not doing, but I just needed a pan set that was relatively small um, because I don't have a lot of cabinet space and I don't use my pans that much to the point where I'm cooking every single day. Another thing that I bought that most people aren't going to think about, I think I got these from Target. These are the covers that go in the microwave to avoid everything splattering everywhere. Something that a lot of people don't think about that I definitely am used to getting. I have a set of bag clips. I actually have two sets of bag clips from Farberware. Um, these are from TJ Maxx. They were $3 each. I'm pretty sure these are the last set of glasses. These are the Dire Grip from Ikea as well. They are just really, really cute aesthetically pleasing little wine glasses. If you guys can't tell from this video, you'll definitely be able to tell in my apartment vlogs, but I am a cup mug connoisseur. Y'all, like y'all, <laughs> look I love it. at Britney's mug cabinet. You're Can insane, bro. Why? Why? It's beautiful. Uh, Yo, <laughs> she's a mom. <laughs> I love collecting them. I don't know what it is, but I just love, I love collecting cups. And I love the look of the wine glasses that I got, so I'm super excited about that. I also ended up getting martini glasses as well, but they weren't in packaging, so I just have them in my kitchen. Another thing I ended up getting at Costco, I don't know where the original packaging is, but this is just a set of Tupperware. I got a clear pack of Tupperware. It's by the brand Rubbermaid, and these are plastic. Next thing is my Aroma. This is a electric kettle. I actually have it in my kitchen right now. It's pretty small, but it's perfect size just for me. I make all of my coffee, tea, hot chocolate, with this and then i also got this during the sale at target this is a george foreman two serving grill and panini press i'm planning on making sandwiches with this so i'm really excited about this grill this is something i bought on amazon a really long time ago they probably still have it this is by the brand home hero and it's a professional knife set these are black knives with acrylic casing i love the way they look i can't wait to unbox them um i've had them in this box for a hot minute i did open it earlier to see if everything was still in there probably a couple months ago but i haven't really looked in here since but it comes with the casing and then it has all the knives in the bottom i got this ultrian air fryer probably in 2020 i had this in my first apartment and i just carried it over to this one because nothing like an air fryer and it doesn't really matter the brand just any air fryer at all is just a staple for me next thing is not really an essential but if you have a pet i would definitely recommend getting this i got these two 
blankets for Lucky for when I get my couch, just because I don't want him sitting directly on the couch while I'm gone. Um, so I got these blankets to cover the couch for when I leave. Also, they're just really cute. He loves blankets, he'll sleep on them. So I got these, these are from Home Goods. Home Goods has a lot of really cute pet blankets if you guys are in the market. Next things are just sponges. These are the Scotch Bright sponges. I have some in my sink right now. And then I also have these random sponges that I found at TJ Maxx or Home Goods. My mom ended up getting me a huge pack of toilet paper. So thank you, mom. I won't have to stock up for a hot minute. And she also ended up getting me a huge pack of bounty paper towels as well. Also right here, I have serving utensils. I usually don't have a lot of guests, but if I do, I have some serving utensils. I think these are like five or $10 at Target. I have an iron, which I just used the other day to iron my shirt for work. So I'm very excited about this. I also have like a mini tabletop ironing board, but it's in my closet right now. And then this is the thing that I am debatably the most excited about. This is my Keurig. I've been sitting on this Keurig for like a year. I have not opened it, have not used it, and I really wanna put it in my little bar coffee station. So I'm really excited to open her up and use it for the first time. The next things that I got, I'm going to use today after I film this video, and this is my Swiffer Wet Jet and my Bissell. This Bissell is not really like a heavy duty vacuum. It's more so for hardwood floors, and as you can see, by my friend sitting next to me. There will be hair in this apartment. There's none right now, which I'm really thankful for. I think he's kind of done shedding his top coat, but when it gets winter time, it's gonna get crazy, and I need a heavy duty broom. I cannot just be using the traditional broom sweeping back and forth. If you have a pet, if you know, you know. The hair just does, it flies away. I need something that's gonna suck that hair up, and I got a Bissell. These over here are the named Scub, I think. These are also by Ikea. These are basically just drawer organizers for when I get my dresser. I'm planning on getting my dresser sometime next week, so I'm just gonna use this to organize my clothes inside of them. Also from Ikea, I got this desk. It's a lap desk for when I am sitting in bed, but also when I eat. I also got this a long time ago, a crock pot. I don't really know if I'm actually going to use this crock pot. I got this, which I'm really excited to unbox. I've been looking for this actually. This is a suction sponge and brush holder for the sink. You just suction it to the inside of the sink and it holds everything for you without having everything out on the counter. So I'm really excited about that. I got a salt and pepper shaker. This is from Target by the brand Cole and Mason. I have a heating pad. My mom got this for me. And then the last thing is this oil and vinegar glass bottle set. I bought this a long time ago as well. I do use oil a lot when I cook, so I really wanted a display case for them, and this is really cute, so I picked this up. That is it, you guys. That is my first apartment haul. I'm super excited to unbox everything now. I'm so excited that you guys came along with me for my first apartment. I'm really excited about everything that I have, and if you guys want to see how the place comes together, I'll be doing a ton of moving vlogs. I've been filming up until this point as well. I just wanted to make sure I had enough of a voice to do this apartment haul because it has been a rough week, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, you guys? I finally have a little bit of a voice. <laughs> but I finally have 90% of my voice back, so I'm glad I was able to do this video for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.